Main event, Steve Austin and Triple H and Stephanie McMahon versus Hardy Boys and Lita. The highlight of this match early, Matt's in there with Austin, Rammy is head into the corner, and he rams it like one, two, three, four, five times. And then he stops, but Austin takes a sixth turnbuckle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, Oops. the Hardys are running wild on Steve Austin and Triple H. Now, mm-hmm. when we were watching the Monday Night Wars, I mean, there was that period where Triple H was, you know, he was a mid-carder. And then he sort of worked his way up, and you know there was that point after the the click deal where he was buried, so he's like losing hog pen matches or whatever. So like we saw Hunter in there selling for just random mid card geeks. We have never seen this with Steve Austin. He's in there fucking selling his ass off for Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. It was the craziest thing I ever saw, but it was great. This was a yeah. good match early. The the actual That's... wrestling here was really good. So the heat is on Jeff. The crowd is chaining for Lita. After a long struggle, Matt finally gets a hot tag, and just like the British Bulldogs in Saturday Night's main event, he hits the ring and is immediately thrown out to the floor. So I guess if it's a if it's a handicap match, or not a handicap match, a uh, uh, mixed tag, I guess if, if you are a male and you get thrown outside, the women could just get in the ring and do a finish. Is that At right? Least, uh, you can't Apparently. Hear. You can it's like hear. lucha rules, I guess. It, 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 it depends on whose rules you're using, which promotion, and which point in the show. But in this match, that is exactly what happened. The guy is all fought outside. The women came in without a tag. And Lita hit Steph with a twist of fate and a moonsault and pinned her, and the place went crazy. Mm-hmm. While this is going on, off camera, apparently, Steve Austin and Triple H had enough of this Hardy Boys bullshit and wiped them from the earth. So Lita wins... And before she can even get to her feet, Hunter is standing behind her to menace her, and Austin is in the corner with a chair. And she doesn't know what to do. She's trapped between the two of them. Finally, Hunter clobbers her from behind, begins to stomp her under the mat. Nuclear heat for all this. The Hardys attempt to save. They take a savage beating with steel chairs. And Austin is going to swing a steel chair at Matt Hardy, but Lita throws her body on top of Matt. Austin is fine with this, and hits her very hard in the back with a chair several times. You don't say. Yes. I That's... counted them. All right. So they hit the ring. Hunter pedigrees her. Austin kills Jeff with a chair shot right to the head. Yeah. He mm-hmm. destroys Matt with chair shots. He hits Lita with 10 chair Jeez. shots, including choking her with the edge of the steel chair. Hunter grabs her by the hair and drags her around like he's a caveman. And then Austin kills her, and she's left for dead with the Stone Cold Stunner. Now, yeah, I didn't like this. So you remember when we watched all that Lucha Underground, and season one was like awesome, and then there's season two and three, etc. And then they had the match where Pentagon killed everyone, the women, three women in one night. Yeah. Yes, I think it was actually. Uh, uh, it was Kyrie and Eo and, and I think uh, so, yeah. Anyway, so he just, he just absolutely brutalized them, and it fucking sucked, and I hated it. And the show like fell off a cliff ratings wise, and it never recovered. You remember this? That sounds familiar. Okay, and then of course we had these these fuckers telling us, oh, it's not because of the man on woman violence. I like the man on woman violence. It's like a it's like a comic book or whatever their bullshit explanations were. Video game. Video game or whatever. Listen. In real life, actual human beings, the majority of them, I'm not saying all of them, the majority of them do not like seeing dudes beat the living shit out of women, okay? And it fucking killed Lucha Underground. Remember a couple of weeks ago I read the uh, thing that Paul Fontaine had sent us about how uh, the ratings collapsed yes, during yes. this period? Okay. Yes. The week of April... Fifth, uh, which is, is that the show we're doing here? Or uh, no? week before. Well, okay, the week before. So April 5th was SmackDown. All right, the week of April 5th, the show was down 11% year over year. 11%. Mm-hmm. This week, which would be the week that this occurred, the rating was down 12% year that, over that's year. A, that's more. Just barely, though. It's eleven. It's eleven point seven percent to twelve point two percent. So basically, it's twelve percent year over year, two straight weeks. Okay, sure. Yeah. This angle airs. Okay. 
The following week, they are down at 24, Ooh. Ooh. 25% Ooh. year over year. If my math is correct, that's almost double. And then 28, <laughs> 32, 27, 27. I mean, there is, I mean, we can watch SmackDown. Maybe something horrifying happens on SmackDown. But dude, they beat the living shit out of Lita. They they massacred her. They mutilated her. They they destroyed her with chairs. They choked her. They pulled her by the hair, and they left her for dead with a stunner. And and they lost an additional twelve percent year over year, starting the very next show. And that just continued from that point forward. So there's a lesson to be learned here in two thousand one, and fucking nobody in Lucha Underground learned it. And they killed their promotion with the same bullshit. So don't book this stuff. It sucks.